Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carolyn. I am a mama to twins, Summer and Winter, who are almost two years old. And today I'm gonna be sharing a little bit of a review about the Britax Universal Travel Cart, which we recently used on our trip all the way from the US, Colorado, to Germany. We had a 10 hour flight followed by a short layover and then a second flight, which was about one hour. So with that, we used the Britax Universal Travel Cart to get all the way from literally the car to our ending point. We brought the car seats with us all the way through and I will show you how we install the car seat onto the Universal Travel Cart. I hope that you find this video helpful if you're traveling with your little one. And as always, if you're not yet subscribed yet, I invite you to subscribe. I usually share all about twin mom life and family travel tips here on my channel. Thanks so much, guys. The car seats that we used during our travels, and these are our primary car seats at home, are the Nuna Rava car seats. And typically, because our twins aren't two yet, we usually have them in rear facing mode, but with the travel cart, it does need to be in forward facing mode if you're going to be carting the car seat around on it, or additionally, if you want the kids to ride in it. Now, there are some restrictions and things that you have to watch out for if you're gonna have the kids riding in it, just extra precautions, really, because of how much do they weigh and things like that. So I definitely recommend double checking with the Britax website about if you can have your kid ride in the seat while you're moving it around. But with that said, I did have both of my twins ride in the seats while we were carting them around through the airport. And because it was a very short distance and because they don't weigh that much, it worked out great. So one thing I'm going to tell you before you decide if you're going to buy the universal travel cart is make sure that your car seat does have the option to have the latch to connect it. This is one of the ways that most car seats are able to get into the car. The other way is usually the seat belt method. This car seat does have both of those. So usually in my car, I prefer to do the seat belt method, but with that said, it does also have the latch option. And so that's what we use to connect it to this. And in order to connect it, I do need to put it in the most upright position in order to have it sit on the travel cart. One thing I like about the travel cart is when it's not in use, as you can see, it stays put just like this. So it's pretty compact and it has a little grid mark on the side so that it actually stays in place, if you can see that. And then when I want to actually take it out, I just simply need to pull this apart and then it will come out of that little groove. And then once it's in, it's past this little mark and it doesn't really come open. So it just folds out like that. And as you can see, it is already standing up. And then I push this button to raise it up. And it gets quite long. As you can see, this is how long it is when it's in freestanding mode. But you can lower it. So it does have, so the top option is the first, the first length and then you can push it down one, two. So there's really only three options for where you can have it. Just so you can see it in the video, I'll push it down to the medium option for the height. So in order to install it, I just simply Turn my car seat this way, set it on there, and you want it to be as centered as possible. I'm going to unbuckle this connector on the back. I just unbuckled this latch here, and I'm going to rebuckle it over this bar. So there is a bar here, and I just simply buckled it over the bar. Now I'm going to also take this latch, connect it there and this latch connect it there as you can see it is all connected you want to make sure that you hear that really loud clicking noise that's how you know that it is actually fully in and then of course I'm gonna take this strap here and I'm gonna tighten it now not all car seat latch systems have the belt attached some of them are hard latches 
and those are just more, more like plastic things that fold down, you can use those too. You just wanna make sure that whatever system it is, it is as tight as it can be on this. So I actually am going to pull it all the way to the end so that there's not a gap. You just wanna make sure that it is as tight as it possibly can be. So once I am done pulling this for as tight as it can get, I'm also gonna make sure that it's tight in the front. With this specific car seat, as you can see here, it does have the two different sections. It has this blue section for the rear facing mode and it has this upper red section for forward facing mode. And because this is in forward facing mode, I am going to use this section to connect the back. And this will actually be located in the blue section. If you have this car seat and you're used to using it in the rear facing mode, you're gonna, what you need to do is actually you're going to take it from the bottom section here and you're literally just going to pull it all the way up around this thing because it does not come off. You just literally slide it along this path here and that's how you get it up here. And then once it's up here and it is as tight as it can possibly be, I can't pull it any tighter, that is when I close the true tension door. And that's the loud clicking noise that you'll hear when you close it. And as you can see, the car seat right there, that's where the latch system goes through and it is extremely tight. So then I can go ahead and close everything up. Oops, I did it the wrong way. <laughs> this one goes here and usually you'll button this button that goes there and this button goes on there and then this goes over and voila, that is all good to go. Everything is set. So with that said, it's pretty simple. So this is how it looks when it's all connected. And of course there are a couple of other things that you wanna do like put these cup holders in until they just pop into the side there. Same with this one, like that. Yeah, pretty simple. And the other thing I wanna tell you is when you are walking with it, you wanna use your foot down here when you're pulling it up because you wanna do this as you are setting it down because otherwise the weight of the other end will just literally fall down. And if you aren't using your foot, then one, it'll be a lot harder to turn it over. You need to like hold it against something. And also you don't want to slam it down. So literally just use your foot on the back here to put it down gently instead of trying to have it like this and then putting it down without it, it'll slam. So if you use your foot, you can guide it down. That's the other thing that I would recommend. That's the only thing that I wish that they had put in when they designed this. I wish that they had put in some type of system in the back to make it easier to put it down. But hey, I'll take what I can get, right? And keep in mind that because there's only wheels on this side and there's not wheels on this side, you can't pull it really very well when you're just in this mode. You don't wanna pull that cause you could definitely ruin this little section there. So <laughs> yeah, definitely whenever you're pulling it around, make sure that it's on these two wheels. Voila, that is how it works. So just on those two wheels, it maneuvers really well. But keep in mind that if you are gonna have your kids strapped in while you're pulling it around, you wanna adhere to the normal safety instructions of your car seat to have it buckled the way that you usually would in the car. And as promised, I'm gonna include a few clips here so that you can see exactly what it looks like when we had these in use with our babies. And we used them when our twins were about 20 months old and they probably weighed about 22 pounds at the time. So this is just an idea of what we were able to do with them in them. Like I said, definitely, double check with the website. I'm not like an instruction person on how to use it. I'm just telling you my review and how well it worked for us. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this review. I hope that you got a kick out of learning how this works. If you hadn't heard of it, I was amazed to hear about it. I'm really glad that I found out about it because it made our life so much easier. It even fit, at least with this car seat, it even fit when we were rolling them onto the airplane, literally going down the center of the aisle. 
it was awesome. So if you plan to travel soon and you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm happy to help. We have traveled so much with our babies. The first time that we took them to Germany, they were nine months old. We took them again when they were only 14 months old. And then this was the third time that we flew all the way from the US to Germany and back, which was when they were 20 months old. So yeah, we've, we've done a few things. We've also gone to Mexico with them. I've even flown alone with the twins. <laughs> They're not even two years old yet. They've seen quite a bit of the world. So anyway, bottom line, if you have any questions, I'm happy to help other mamas out there who are going through the same things that we've had questions about. Thanks again for watching. And as always, like I said before, if you're not subscribed yet, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and like this video if you found it informative at all. I definitely appreciate it. It helps me grow my channel so that I can share more of this type of thing with other moms out there and help other mamas to learn how to travel. It is possible, you guys. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> Thanks and have a great day.